I have a story here from thatparkplace.com. The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power Season 2 trailer surpasses 139,000 dislikes as actors trash Tolkien fans. It premiered at San Diego Comic-Con on the day of. It had, uh, had around 8 million views, over 56,000 likes, and 112,000 dislikes. The next day, it has 11.6 million views, over 71,000 likes, and over 139,000 dislikes. In the test for comparison, it had... The season one trailer had 87,000 likes, but over 474,000 dislikes. While the season two trailer is not getting as many dislikes as the season one trailer, it's still pacing around twice as many dislikes as likes. Top of the trailer receiving nearly 140,000 dislikes. At excerpts from the cast, many appearances at San Diego Comic-Con show them taking shots and trashing fans of Tolkien. The actress who plays Gal- Galadriel, M- Morfred, Clark, you know a powerful woman, they make people cross, and I feel blessed to play her. To play her. And to make Sauron cross. Actor Ishmael Cruz Cordova also stated during EW's Brave Warriors panel, my character is not in the lore of the Lord of the Rings. And that was an issue for some people. It was a big controversy of me being the first off that wasn't white. I love the nerve that I pinched. I really do. I was so excited to create something new. A lot of people speaking on behalf of Tolkien. I don't know if they understand the spirit of Tolkien. His work speaks of the time. You know, picture of him and stuff. We work at these deep ex- existential questions, and yet he just goes on and tries to justify it. You know, it's pretty cool to represent that and have a voice within openness. I think a lot of people identify with this elf in his plate because he's not regal, he's a frontline guy, and all this kind of stuff. After attacking fans for not understanding the spirit of Tolkien, Cordova made it abundantly clear he was projecting. It is necessary to revise things and represent and exist. I, look, I, I think representation only matters to children. Grown adults. It should not matter. I can understand a little five-year-old, little six-year-old, they want to see someone who looks like themselves represented on screen. I, I, I can completely understand that. But if you're a grown adult, what the hell's wrong with you? You can't, you can't see yourself in someone else just because they're human? I, you know, seriously, that's ridiculous. Anyway, then it goes on and continues. Charlie Vickers, who plays Sauron, shared that the show will explore a romance between Galadriel and Sauron. When asked if, there's, if the show's second season would explore a possible romantic connection between the two characters, Vicker said, I think there is hope. What can we say? Showrunner Patrick McKay then encourages him, Say it, say it. Vickers then states, Yeah, I think we will. It's like, you know, it's a, okay, yeah, wow, that's amazing. McKay also would seemingly apply or imply the show features at least one LGBT character. Maybe you have already. That doesn't really make a whole, you know, I'm not sure the exact quote, but it says, When asked if there would be LGBT characters in the show, McKay said, maybe you have already. I think it was, will we meet any any LGBT characters? But it's like, who gives a rat's ass about that, to be quite honest? You know, like, ooh, well, you got, you got your LGBT character in there that will likely, likely, if, if history is any indication, be able to be quickly taken out if they ever release this overseas in the Middle East or perhaps parts of Asia or whatever. They always do that. You know, whether it's the kiss in Star Wars or it's this character. It, oh, oh, this is the very first non-binary character in some uh, Pixar movie. I forget what the movie was. But the character was there. Like, you blink and you miss it, basically. So, it's just one of those things. It's like, I, I don't understand anything. Now, now I will say, uh, trash Tolkien fans. I, I don't know if I'd go quite that far as to say that the peop- those, the actors were doing that. But they are, you know, essentially talking out of their ass and trying to justify this stuff. And it's just, I don't understand it. It's its ridiculous. It's just stupid. It, you know, anyway, I'll link this in the description box and read it for yourself. I, I, I would recommend it. I mean, you know, if you want to watch the trailer for yourself. I watched, I watched parts of season one that make it very far. I couldn't, I couldn't keep watching. It was just, ugh. it was just, it was bad. It was, you know, that's my opinion. You know, I mean, you know. Make your own mind up and stuff. I will not be watching season two. I'm not interested in any way, shape, or form. But, you know, I mean, if you are interested, let me know. If you're not interested, let me know. I mean, whichever way you go, you know, I mean, like, you know, just let me know. And, and if you got reasons why you don't, you like it or don't like it or whatever, you know, like I said, let me know. I'm always interested in hearing what other people think. Anyway, thank you very much for